I haven't done a uh, kit for a while and I'd picked up uh, this kit that you're seeing here uh, a little while back and I thought I'd do a few build videos uh, on that kit. I bought this off Amazon and they also sell it on Banggood. I think it's a bit cheaper there. Uh, and just to note, I'm not affiliated in either way, uh, in any way with uh, either of those sites and I bought this with my own money and, uh, you know, uh, and that's that. So uh, this kit claims to be a 45 watt uh, linear amplifier. I'll be... Uh, I'll be surprised if we get anywhere near that, So, but we'll see. Uh, it's also, uh, it says it's a linear amplifier, so, so we should be able to get SSB through it. Um, the amp itself uh, is a, uh, a push-pull configuration with a pair of IR IRF 530 MOSFETs on the output. Um, interestingly though, uh, there's no uh, transmit receive circuitry on this amplifier at all so you can't just buy this uh, you know build this amplifier up and hook it straight up to the output of your radio uh, there's just no transmit receive circuitry you'd have to build that out there separately um, and no note also this kit it doesn't come with any instructions of any kind so you just get a bag with the components in it now there are a few uh, fairly blurry pictures so uh, you can see here uh, and and this this isn't the screen being blurry. This is this is just the image being blurry. You can barely read the uh, uh, barely read the uh, the values on the resistors and the capacitors and so on and so forth. Uh, the good news is I was able to find a uh, a link to an uh, an actual schematic, uh, and I'll provide that uh, that link below. It was actually on this site here, uh, which is a German site, uh, and it looks like a pile of people have been doing some hackery with this. Uh, this amplifier. So I'll provide links to uh, to this uh, forum here, as well as uh, I'll probably put this uh, this schematic in uh, in my GitHub repo as well, just so it's uh, it's all centrally located. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go over to the uh, uh, the the kit itself, which is over on the other on the other table. I'll, I'll walk through the components. We'll do a bit of walk through the uh, schematic, and then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so here's uh, what you get in the kit, and just uh, going through some some quick notes. So, um, most of the resistors and the capacitors are uh, SMD, as well as the uh, this is the uh, first trade first stage transistor, um, and they vary from 0805 to 1206 components. So, you can solder them by hand pretty easily. Obviously, it's easier if you've got a hot air gun, but uh, uh, there's nothing smaller than, than 0805 in the kit. Um, uh, just another note, so here's the uh, the bag containing the two IRF530 MOSFETs. There's also a 2SC1971, uh, that's the transistor in the second stage, and there's also a 9-volt uh, supply in here too. And you also get three binocular cores um, for the, for the, for the, as three interstage uh, transformers, and uh, this is a toroid in here that is used as the... Um, as the RFC on the on the final stage. Okay, so let's move to the schematic now. And from the left hand side, we have uh, here's the input here, which is an SMA jack, and that leads to a a 3dB uh, 50 ohm attenuator, uh, pi attenuator on the input. Um, and then we have the first stage here, which is uh, you probably can't quite read that, but that's a 2SC3357 uh, MPN transistor. And uh, that is in a SOT89 package, so uh, kind of quite small there. I, I might use the hot air gun on this one, uh, not quite sure, we'll see. And then we have T1, which is the, small, the smallest of the binocular cores between the first stage and the second, second stage. And it has on here this sort of cryptic thing, 16 to 1. I believe they're referring to the impedance ratio here, not the turns ratio. So this is actually a turns ratio of... 4 to 1 between the uh, first stage and the second stage. So then we move on to the second stage, and here's the uh, uh, the transistor at the core of the second stage, which is a 2SC1971 NPN transistor. Now this is a common transistor, but if you have a look at the LT Spice models that, I've, that I'll provide a link to that I had, uh, my LT, LT Spice, I couldn't find a, a a model for a 2SC1971, so I've substituted the 2SC5706 uh, as uh, in there. I, I'm not sure how close they are to, together though. Um, then we have T2 between the second stage and the final stage and this is the middle, uh, the medium sized binocular core uh, and again it has this uh, 16 to 1 in here so I'm going to have four turns on this side, 
one turn on this side. Then we have the final stage here, and you can see here's that classic push-pull configuration here. Here's the two MOSFETs in the push-pull configuration, both IRF 530s. And then here is the gate bias circuitry here. So you can see you've got a um, uh, you've got an inductor on the on the uh, on both sides here to keep RF out of the power supply. You've got a pot on either side so you can adjust uh, adjust the gate bias to the IRF 530s. And then down here you have this uh, this circuit here. And I'm not quite sure what the role of this is. My my guess is it's uh, something to do with the uh, gate bias stability or something, but if anyone knows what this configuration here, so there's a resistor and then there's a, um, a diode with a bypass capacitor both to ground on either side of the, um, on here and here. Again, not quite sure what, uh, what that is. So finally, we have the uh, largest uh, um, of the binocular cores, T3 here, uh, and that is a one to four turns ratio um, uh, wound uh, binocular uh, core, and then finally you have the output here, which is uh, a 50 ohm output. The only other thing to note is uh, we have an inductor here, L1, that's 10 turns on a T5043. Now, um, it, my understanding is, is this is role is to keep our uh, radio frequency off the supply. It's not actually a part of the output here at all. Um, but uh, when I... Um, actually modeled this in LT Spice with this in circuit, I had a very distorted signal. I'm also used to seeing, now my understanding is, is the goal is to keep the center tap here, which, which is where the power comes in, uh, you, you know, stiff with respect to DC. So you, you don't want there to be, you know, uh, RF uh, radio frequency uh, signals on this center tap here. At least that's what I'm used to. This amplifier may be different, but uh, I've typically seen caps on the center tap here to keep the DC, you know, keep that DC stiff here. But we'll see. What I'm going to try and do probably is I'm going to I'm going to see what the circuit's like with L1 in, and then I'll see what it's like with it out, and uh, you know we'll compare and contrast. So let's just quickly go through the uh, build uh, the build order. I'm going to build this up in steps as as usual. Now one of the things uh, that if I'm building up the stages separately, the first stage, second stage, and so on. Um, I really need to estimate the input impedance of the following stage and match that to the uh, to the expected impedance of, of this stage. So um, now <laughs> I have no idea how to derive this stuff myself uh, in this kind of complex circuitry. So what I've done is I've, I've uh, used LT Spice to estimate the input impedance of this stage, the input impedance of this stage, and then I'm going to kind of match it that way. So uh, using LT Spice, what I've uh, what I've uh, seen is that the input impedance of this stage is one ohm. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put a one ohm resistor here, probably a uh, you know one watt one ohm resistor at the output here, and my my hope is that that will actually um, uh, that will actually present to the collector of this guy the expected output impedance. So of course it's going to go one ohm here and then this is going to go through a, a effectively a four to one um, toroid here. It's not toroid, binocular core here. And, the, and so that'll be effectively 16 ohms on the uh, at the collector of this one. Now for the for the second stage what I'm going to do is basically there's two 20 ohm resistors here. So I'm just going to build up from this point backwards and that should be uh, it's not it's not exactly uh, what is the uh, estimated uh, input impedance of of this circuit. Obviously, there's a pile of pile of other stuff in addition to these two 20 ohm resistors. But I think this is good enough, and and, and that's what I'll be doing. Um, so let's just go quickly through the build order with that note. Um, so first, I'm going to build up the uh, the supply. There's a um, uh, there's a nine volt regulator here, LM7809 uh, nine volt regulator. Um, the second part, I'm going to build up the bias circuitry. So that consists of a couple of pots. There's two inductors on either side. And then this uh, diode uh, uh, configuration here, which uh, if anyone knows what this is for, please let me know in the comments. Um, then I'm going to move back and build up the first stage, uh, including the uh, one ohm resistor to ground on the output. We'll build that up, test it. Then I'll build the second stage up. And as I said, I'll ha include these two 20 ohm resistors here after the uh, transformer T T2. 
we'll test that. We'll see what the uh, uh, what the results are, and then finally we'll build the uh, the push pull configuration here, including this uh, final output transformer. And then I'll hook it up to a, a dummy load, and uh, we'll see what we see. So anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this video at this point. Um, hopefully, I'll get uh, at least parts, perhaps one and two, done in the next video, or maybe one, two, and three done in the next video, and then uh, I'll wrap it up. So four, five, four, and five in the following visit video. So uh, this is going to be a little short series, and um, I should get the next video out uh, in a day or so. Catch you all later. Just one note before I go, um, this uh, does not come in the, uh, in the kit. There is no heat sink at all in the, in the kit at all, um, but you need one. Uh, and so what I've done, I've just found this from, uh, I think I pulled this out of something or bought it from somewhere, I can't remember exactly where. I'm going to use this as the heat sink. Um, obviously, this is, a, this is a pretty beefy heat sink, um, so we'll see. Um, but like I said, just remember there is no heat sink that comes in this, uh, in this kit. You have to get your own.